<sighs> it's been a long day. Hey, Pastor Nathan Decker here with your hashtag Better Together Devotion. And I am making fun of the fact about it's been a long day and I want to fall asleep or I'm, I'm kind of worn out because one of the things that we don't talk about enough in our faith and we don't practice enough in our faith. And I truly believe that this is a witness. This is a form of showing the world there's a difference. This is a part of what it means to be like Jesus. And that's taking a break. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, you need to take a break. Sabbath was important to God. It was one of, one of the top ten. Sabbath was important to Jesus. Jesus, countless times in the scriptures, goes away from people and retreats so that he can be in prayer and so he can restore his soul. When, when, when you're a runner, one of the things that, that you learn really quickly is that a day of rest is important to your body. People who go out and run every single day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, um, wear themselves out and their muscles don't develop properly because they're not given rest. On the other hand, uh, Runner's World Magazine recommends that runners that are in training, that, that they run lots of t times. They run long periods of runs and stuff, and sometimes it is seven days a week, but they always all intersperse days of rest. I myself try to run every other day, or maybe sometimes I'll run four days a week, but I'll always have like one or two days in which I'm resting. And what I found is that by having that day of rest, in between the runs, it makes the next run so much better. And by better, I don't mean that it's less painless. It, it's still painful. But that I'm faster, I'm stronger, I have more endurance, it's more enjoyable. It's a good day. In our spiritual journey, we're called to take a day of rest, a Sabbath, a Saturday, uh, a day for recreation and recreation, and I emphasize this a lot in my ministry on purpose. I have a day off. Uh, my day off's Friday, typically. Uh, I, I just I, I turn my cell phone off. I unplug. I go do things that help my soul get restored. I rest. I rest. Because by resting, I'm actually participating in the growth of my soul, of my spirituality, of my discipleship. Now, the thing about having a day of rest it also implies that there's been days of work ahead of time. So if you've just tuned into this, this particular lesson, make sure you plug into the other lessons this week where I've talked about the other parts of running this race as discipleship. Because if it's all about rest, well, we're just a lazy Christian. But on the other hand, if it's all about work, the workaholic disciples, well, they're kind of burned out curmudgeons who really are no good to anyone let alone God. They tend to, well, to borrow a phrase I read one time, pastors who don't take days off, who work like the devil, they tend to eat sheep. That's not a good pastor image. You know, if, if you're working so hard that you're working like the devil, you need a better role model. Jesus took a day off. God took a day off. Work. Enjoy your work. Enjoy the run. Enjoy the work of, of becoming a better Christian. But don't forget also that a part of the journey is resting every now and then and finding that we can rest together. We're better when we're together. I'm really fond of saying that. Go with God. Go run in peace.